Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today we're gonna do a quick look at Battletech. Interesting enough, it's not a quick look. I already did on the back when when the flashpoints came out, a career, uh, beginning of a career mode, but since mods got a kind of a kick in the balls back then, and nowadays, kind of the same happened with the new ways that mods are loaded and are not loaded, with the fact that sometimes flashpoints didn't work with the original mod loader, and then maybe it's fixed, or maybe you should use the new mod tech loader, and I don't know if every mod are compatible with both. And even when I figure out a somewhat good load order, mod pack, mod selection, or something like that, at some point the game starts crashing a lot on the 26th of January of the 30 years of the game or something like that. No, not 30 years. I think it's almost the second year, maybe. So, when that happened on two different career modes, I decided to fuck, throw my hands in the air and said, oh, I'm not gonna even try anymore. But now, a couple days later, I decided to do the campaign. So, I delve into forums, search, and go on and beyond to try to do something different. And I was able to do. I'm gonna leave the description on the description here. A forum question that I made on the Paradox forums where I asked, hey, there is any way to allow me to play the flashpoints in the main campaign? Why can't we fight? And there was. And I highly I have to thank the people who took a little bit of their time to type their comments, to search it out and to figure it out how to do it. Not only that, but they end up going like above and beyond what I asked and said, oh, if you really want to do this, here is how you make this into a mod and explain, oh, the difference between doing a mod and not doing a mod is if you, if the game updated, you're going to lose the edit. But remember, if, if you do this edit in a later date, like after you already, this milestone being set, it, even the update will not break because, well, you already have done the checks and the marks will be already on your save so you can do it so the people who work there who helped me on that i highly thank you i'm gonna leave the form right on the description so okay. if any of you wants to try play the arena restoration campaign and the flashpoints simultaneously i may butcher the word but you get the drill Yes, English is not my first language, so sometimes I do hiccup on some wording. But if you know what I mean, you want to play both of the in this at the same time, you can do. Now, let me be entirely honest. I will highly recommend you bump up a little bit the payment for contracts because the time you're gonna maybe waste move. a lot of time traveling between point A and point B. Bandit. Exactly. Uh, the biggest Copy. reason is most of the things for oh, yeah. the have metal flashpoint the mini campaign they did is on the lower side of the map while the beginning of the runner restoration is on the top so you're gonna be ping pong a lot Ready there so they said that can be a problem on your finances you may want gotcha. to take a little bit slower on upgrading the Argo Although I really would ha recommend you to like bump up a little bit the payment for contracts. Besides that, that will on not only that, but you will be a little bit short on time. But I ri highly recommend you to do that. It's a very interesting, and if you kind of follow, because for me that happened, you will get the bull shark around Confirm. the moment that you get the Arena restoration. Firing. The Castle Nihilus, the SDF port, so your fire and bring it down. you're gonna get crappy. him or one mission after, later, or one mission before, depending on how you roll the thing. And you're gonna get the last mission from that campaign a little bit after. I wanna talk here because that is a problem that the original game the original campaign and this campaign have and I'm going to talk Salvage hey on the last mission you cannot get the king crab spoiler warning you fight a king crab on the last mission for the arena restoration hey. Here you fight against the black widow the bounty hunter 
for what I know, because I don't know much about the Battletech universe, they are the real big shots. I know that the Black Widow is a big shot because she is somewhat a descendant of the old man Kerensky, and I watch Dex Talks Battletech, so I know about the guy. Now, the biggest reason why I think this is bullshit is because you can't get any of the max those two guys use, you cannot salvage those. Which does fuck the game for me a lot. Why it does fuck the game for me a lot, I say, it's especially in the last mission, I work very, very careful to like lag it, like to, I use in the panic mission, the panic thing, so I work very hard to panic the archer to just to panic uh, the archer to wounded the pilot into the uh, of one of the marauders to be him being unconscious to I want to get one of the pieces of an atlas and the rest I was okay with I already got one or hammer before so I was okay with most of the other thing going down and in the end, what happens was, well, you cannot get the salvage out of those, you cannot get max salvage, you're only gonna get weapon salvage, and interesting enough, none of they had infernos, none of they have the, I think I got one of the uh, ultra ACs, I didn't see any coils on those, I didn't see stuff like that, so it did, like, lower a little bit of the payoff of that mission. And I think this does lower the pay. It's the same thing with the main campaign. You do have a lower, uh, very lower paid off about the campaign itself by simply the fact that, oh, okay, I don't have the. I work hard to knock down the mech, to knock down the, knock out the pilot, or to just lag it, or to make the pilot, the enemy pilot, eject if you have the mods for it. And in the end, you don't get salvage for it. Hiring full it's a very enemy. meh thing. And one of the things I find interesting is, oh, you do that thing and they say, look at the MRB. We are legends. And your MR my MRB was two stars and become three stars. Okay. Yes, Commander. That was it. What's really? Up? Meh. I copy. So that that is indeed the fucking right one of here. my biggest problems with the campaign since my biggest problem the flashpoint not being able you to place so. with the campaign was the fact that the final mission doesn't reward you enough. Okay, I had stood then on the run of restoration you get the atlas and in some way on the half metal flashpoint you get the bull shark up before. But yeah, you you kind of see what I'm, where I'm going with it, I hope. It's not one of the most interesting ways to do stuff. I would highly prefer they allow you to salvage a couple things and give it a, a little. Now, one of the other problems that playing Flashpoints with the campaigns addressed, and that was one of my problems with the main game, is the fact that, oh, I don't have enough dialogue for my personal. And Right now, because the way the flashpoints down. work, this flashpoint most likely because you're not talking about too much with people, like, uh, with represented, holy shit, I cannot speak. You're not talking with people from the noble houses, you're not talking with people from other mercenary groups, you're talking about with bouncing ideas between your people, how to solve this problem with the, with this lost cargo. You do have a very cool fucking thing. You you have a better interaction between the play between your car your mercenary group and the mercenary and the other people. So I have to say then this does fix a little bit of that, but I really wish they you would have more of those. I really wish you would have more of those things and I one of the problems is all the flashpoints, this is not something just those all the flash points that I see or the ones that you saw me playing you're going to notice there is not many choices of dialogue for the commander 
So, yeah. Not very fun. One of the interesting things is, order. I don't know the set of why we couldn't keep the I copy. AI with us while she was doing her thing. Here it comes. It's very strange and then we like, okay, why are you doing your fucking thing, decrypt everything? We're gonna just let you by. with us and you can decrypt in peace. Moving because I, uh, some way I really get grow attached to it as a more as a member of my crew. Now, of course, Go there ahead, is a couple other vehicles. problems. I do believe first there is the technical ones, as the game still does have a memory leak. As more as you play, the game does start to getting con uh, eating your memory RAM, eating not percent not the CPU, but the Memory RAM is something that it does eat up a lot. GPU, I don't see any heavy usage, but eh, maybe. Problems that end up coming with this is pink mech, pink mech parts, enemy turns taking too fucking long to do so. If you have in long extensions of play, I got this book happened to me two or three times, I don't remember correctly, uh, when some of the assets don't load. The higher extreme is the pink max, but the very interesting lower end of this is warning messages don't end up like not popping up. So for example, on a score mission that I did, on three score missions, because I think score are the only one that, that can happen most likely. I end up placing my Mac on a position and normally if you are in a position where uh, a ship gonna Internal land, damage. there's this giant red square, like triangle on the on the dot and it like says, oh, danger zone. So sometimes you click there, you I place that the mech there and it didn't say, then the ship lands and kill the mech. But one thing that I end up to do later is I uh, bef I did a mission, start a mission, uh, arrive close to the place, l save the game, load it back up, and the dot the red marking would be there. Another thing is if I if I kill the mech by central torso sometimes like if I CT the Mac yes, commander. the Mac would not die it would be there I could not target but it would be there like commander. on its toe legs and I would not need to save and load it back again this is like happen with a longer playthrough so I don't think many people will end up having those problems on itself but I have to say those still are a little bit of problems than I faced on this game. Wait now, there is a quote-unquote problem, but this is on depending on your personal taste. First, how does the AI on this game look? Like, the AI, the difficult or whatever is, the game throw more shit at you. Right now, here. yes, it's all stock shit, so their mechs are not gonna be customized, sometimes their mechs are gonna be badly damaged or stuff like that. But indeed, like, they will outnumber you sometimes. Mostly it's gonna be, in the normal case, it's gonna be 2 to 1, but there is some cases then gonna be 3 to 1. Interesting enough, some of the missions that, you, that I end up getting Standing later by. on, we end up getting a more like ally unit, so it balances it out, or some things like that. Then end up balancing out, but normally you end up getting this problem of a two to one or a three to one. And I will still say I would really like a second lance to command. And yeah, I know um, a lance is four men, so why can't I have a second lance? I know what people will say because a le leopard only has a four slot for four uh, max. I get it, but I don't care that much for it. I don't know. Allow me to have a second one. Allow me to say this is a special fucking dropship. Then allow dropship now. Uh, I think. 
it's called Eruption no matter what, that allow us to have a second Battle Mac. Uh, oh, this one, it doesn't have X, Y, and Z, and because of that we can sh cramp up a second lens of Battle Macs. I don't know. They have a fucking... F they made out a new Battle Mac. They can make a excuse to allow us to have a f one more Battle Mac. One more lens. Maybe a cost upgrade to the Argo to allow you to like shove a second Leopard there. Oh, I don't care. Story-wise, as I said, m most likely was... Still the, story the main campaign is still a little bit of meh. And the flashpoint's lack of choice for the commander. Uh, it's a little bit meh. But the interaction of your crew is a little bit fixed by the fact that if you play the flashpoints and the campaign close together. So, yeah, there is a good thing. In the end, I still have my problems with Battletech. Mostly the implementations of the Inferno round, the Ultra ACs, and the LBX. I still believe then the lack of changing firing modes or uh, rounds for uh, yes, am ammunition for the weapons is a bad Move choice of position. the thing so yeah not only that but the fact then since you cannot have a multiple lens Here we go. the light max are That's very amazing. very flimsy in the end result uh, if you show the if you shove a battle a light mag, you know it's on the later game it's going to die. And even if you're like saying, oh now you have the coil weapons and coil weapons are very great, they will one shot bigger max. But you're still gonna sacrifice A, a pilot, B, a coil weapon, and C a fucking entire mech. That's not worth most of the times. You're gonna place your battle mech in a very bad position, you're gonna risk the pilot and you're gonna and if you we were talking about a late game option it's gonna be probably a good pilot so you're gonna be risking the pilot the mac and the weapon so not a great idea and even in that case it's not a great idea but that's that ladies and gentlemen bad attack a very flawed game i'm not going to deny it it's a very flawed game but I still enjoy it, for what it was and what will be, even order. so I doubt that we're going to have any other expansion. Order, I think please. option A, Hairbrain scheme is going to start working on a new Shadowrun game. Yeah. Option B, a new franchise, or option C, they're going to go for the Commander. sequel, Battletech 2, the Clan Bo Electric Boogaloo. Got it. And that's that. I think we're not going to have many anything more and we can gonna be depending shot. on the mod team to give us new content. I'm gonna leave in the description the way to play flashpoints and the campaign. If you want, go there, try for yourself and tell me how I'm wrong about I'm anything. There. See you guys next time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. And if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe. And see you guys on the next episode.